Welcome to Jelvix, where we share the latest trends and ideas from the tech world in just five minutes. Today we're going to talk about load balancing. Watch our video to find out why load balancing is so crucial to keep your website running smoothly. And don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss out on new videos. Okay, now let's get started. What is load balancing? Server failure always happens unexpectedly at the most unexpected moment, and it's fraught with serious consequences. So what can we do with that? Initially, problems with low server performance due to increased load are solved by increasing the server power or optimizing algorithms, codes, etc. However, with further growth, clustering is already necessary when several servers are combined into a cluster, the load is distributed between them using a set of special balancing methods. Let's talk about why load balancing is necessary. The availability of sites and applications has never been taken so seriously. If they're unreliable, they lose their users and their authority in a matter of seconds. Can you think of examples of when website or app reliability is most crucial? Share them in the comments. But what's the key factor in ensuring availability? Sure thing, it's load balancing. It helps you efficiently manage network traffic and application load. Watch further to know how it works. How do load balancers work? A load balancer is a reverse proxy. It presents a virtual IP address, VIP, representing the application to the client. The client connects to the VIP, and the load balancer makes a determination through its algorithms to send the connection to a specific application instance on a server. The load balancer continues to manage and monitor the connection for the entire duration. You can deploy a load balancer as software or hardware on a device, and it will efficiently distribute client requests or network load across multiple servers, provide flexibility to add or remove servers as needed, track and block malicious content, and provide automated disaster recovery at backup sites, and maintain high availability and reliability by sending requests only to servers on the network. You can read about the concept of corporate networking in our recent article. Follow the link in the description box. As you might have guessed, load balancers are more than just network traffic managers. It provides benefits, such as predictive analytics that identify traffic bottlenecks before they arise. What types of load balancers are out there? Load balancing can be done using both hardware and software tools. For example, the Network Server Load Balancer, L4, uses network layer information to decide where to send network traffic. We consider it the fastest of all, but it does not balance the distribution of traffic between servers. Application Load Balancer, L7, balances requests based on multiple parameters at the application level and controls server traffic based on individual usage and behavior. Global Server Load Balancing is DNS-based and acts as a DNS proxy to provide real-time responses based on GSLB load balancing algorithms. It expands the capabilities of the common L4 and L7 layers in various data centers. Hardware versus Software versus Virtual Load Balancing Hardware subsystems handle high volumes of network traffic and high-performance applications. They can contain embedded virtualization that brings together multiple instances on a single device. Software load balancers can be deployed in the cloud and provide a cost-effective alternative to hardware counterparts. Elastic Load Balancer automatically balances inbound application traffic and scales resources to meet traffic requirements as a load balancing service for Amazon Web Services deployments. Let's look at the basic load balancing algorithms. The Load Balancer directs traffic to a pool of servers using various load balancing algorithms. Load balancing algorithms are formulas that determine which server to send each client connected to. For example, the round-robin algorithm uses a rotation system to sort traffic when working with servers of equal cost. The request is passed to the first available server, and then it's placed at the end of the line. A weighted round-robin algorithm is used to load different balanced servers with other characteristics. 
In the least connections algorithm, traffic is directed to the server with the least traffic. That helps maintain optimized performance, especially during peak hours, by keeping the load evenly across all servers. The least response time algorithm directs traffic to the server with the fewest active connections and considers its fastest response time its highest priority. The IP hashing algorithm assigns a client's IP address to a fixed server for optimal performance. So we can see that load balancers make it easy as pie to change your server infrastructure, predict traffic bottlenecks before they occur, and provide an extra layer of security for your website and applications. And the last question, do you still think you don't need load balancing? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.